Well, like the rest of the world, we went through a rough time. Um, we had the developments down here in St. Peter that we're doing, the St. Peter's Bays, the Port Ferdinand, the Palazata next door. Uh, we also did the Sapphire Resort in, um, on the south coast there, in Dover. Um, and the truth is, in the last, I would say, three, four, five months, we have had more sales than we have had in the last three, four years. So to me, the world is waking up, the economy is picking up, and our economy is picking up. Um, I think the new waste energy plant agreement that was signed last weekend by the government and the Canadian company, Cahill Arena, is an absolutely fantastic thing for Barbados. Um, it will get rid of our garbage and it will allow people in the Sandy Lane place there to develop the place because they won't have no stinker who there stinking up the place any longer. So I think, you know, we're, and on top of that, they can generate electricity at a, at a steady price. And of course, the, the generation of electricity right now, the oil fluctuates up and down, up and down, up and down, and the price of power goes with it. And this will help stabilize it. So things like that, I think, are great for Barbados. Um, we have a couple of other projects that I'm not really at liberty to mention, but we have some big projects coming down the road that hopefully uh, they will also help stimulate the economy. And we will, um, we will do our best, and that's all we can do, really. very difficult. Um, the truth of the matter is that we we have been plowing back in the money that we've made in the good years. I've been preaching it to a lot of other Barbadian businessmen that they should do that. We all made money in the good days. That's the truth. We all made good money. Uh, if you put it in your back pocket and say, well, I'm going to wait for better days to spend it, then we send people home because it does that. We continue spending our money, we continue building, we continue developing. And you know, now that the, the, the about turn seems to be here with us, hopefully we'll make back some of what we spent. But in the meantime, we did our best to keep the employment levels up because at the end of the day, you know, still go out feed the children, we still go out send them to school. That don't stop. Just because the economy is bad, we still gotta eat and the children still go out to school. So that is it. Absolutely. We're, um, we're getting a lot more interest here in, in recent months for people investing in Barbados. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, the world is recovering. Um, you know, we have been in recession six years now long time. Uh, it's probably been the longest and deepest recession certainly that I have been in. And I've seen two or three recessions in my life. Um, but we seem to be gradually coming up. I'm not telling you that you can flick a switch and turn it over overnight. It'll come. But the hard fact in life is that people... Barbados is not uh, low-cost destination. Well, it is a high-cost destination. We import everything. Consequently, the cost of living is high. Uh, the cost of providing services is not cheap. So it means that, the, and, and if you want to provide a world-class five-star service, it takes money. Um, but on the other hand, if you swallow hard and do it, you do attract the five-star people, and the five-star people are who have the money to invest in the country, and it's working. There is absolutely no substitute for hard work. I am 70 years old. I work 
I work a 12 to 15 hour day, every day. Um, I wouldn't say I work, because actually I enjoy it so much I don't look on it as work. But I am up active doing what I do. I start at 5 o'clock in the morning, I go to whatever time in the evening and it takes me. And there is no substitute for hard work. Um, having some vision and, and seeing opportunities where others don't see them, um, I think it's a good thing. But at the end of the day, the main thing that we're talking about is hard work. I try to see far ahead and we have in fact, we're, we're right now, we're, we're setting up and have set up a company that uh, when, it is, when it is fully up and operational, we'll actually be managing the resort here in the northern part of St. Peter of over a thousand rooms. Um, there's nothing outside of that. And I, I guess it's just, you know, I, I've seen the opportunity and I've gone to the government and the government, uh, the government listened to us and are helping us do what we have to do.